Hi everyone and welcome to Greta's Yoga YouTube channel. I'm Greta and today we are doing a more moderate slash advanced yoga practice. But if you're new to yoga, I've only taken a few classes, this is still suitable for you. You can still do it and we can do modifications as we go. And of course, you're always welcome to go into a child's pose if it gets too intense for you. But I believe in you, you should believe in yourself and you can do it too. So let's go ahead and get started. Like always, we'll start with our meditation, getting our mindset ready, getting the blood flowing, getting the energy, the breath flowing, so that we can awaken the energy inside of our bodies to let us know that we're ready for our yoga practice. So once we've come into a comfortable seat, we can go ahead and close the eyes. And we'll start to check in with the breath. Maybe noticing the different sounds around you. I hear a beautiful bird chirping. I hear the plant blowing from the wind. And I hear my neighbors playing outside in this beautiful weather. Just noticing, observing, but not latching on to any of those sounds. Just like our thoughts, we'll accept them and we'll let them go. Today's intention or mantra I'd like to invite to be, I am strong. So yes, both mentally and physically strong here. How can we take this mantra throughout our practice? Talk ourselves up positively instead of beating ourselves down negatively. You are strong, I am strong, and we are strong. And let's take one more nice, full, energizing breath here. And exhaling, <sighs> releasing out any negative toxins here. We'll open the eyes, put a smile on our face, and we'll start in tabletop position. So being mindful and aware of how we get here. We're not in a race, we're not rushing into it. We've got time getting our foundation set up, and we'll start with a few cat cows to gently warm the whole body. Inhaling, drawing the navel down, and exhaling, rounding the spine through. Start breathing into the full body here. And we'll do about two more. Inhaling, looking up, and exhaling, trying to look towards the navel. And we'll come back to tabletop on our next exhale. We're gonna tuck the toes and slowly peeling the sit bones up way high in the air. And we'll walk our feet out a little bit. <sighs> Notice if the energy is flowing, the juices are going. And we're going to plant the right foot down and inhale the left leg up high. Nice stretch, maybe rotating the ankle here. And then we're going to draw a big circle at the hip joint. One direction, not collapsing in the right side body here, but really pushing strong through both hands. And then switching sides or rotations, directions of our rotations. So we're now closing the hip. And then bringing it back to downward facing dog. Planting the left foot now, we'll inhale the right leg up. Oh, notice what that feels like. Rotating the ankle here. And then bending the knee, we're going to come in to hip circles on the right. 
Again, not collapsing in the left side body. And then switching directions of your circle. Really warming up the hips, notice what it feels like. And then drawing back to downward facing dog. If at any time this comes too painful, you can go ahead and come to a child's pose or just drop the knees, it's totally fine. From our downward facing dog though, we're gonna inhale the left leg up high and then exhaling, drawing up and knee to nose. Again, inhaling leg up high and exhaling knee to left elbow here, nice and strong. And then inhaling leg up high and exhaling, drawing the left knee towards the right elbow now. And then again, inhaling up high. One more time, we got this. Exhaling knee to nose. Inhaling up high. Exhaling towards the left elbow here. Inhaling up high and exhaling towards the right elbow. You got this, inhale up high, and then exhaling, stepping it all the way through. Awesome job here. Take a moment to catch your breath, to check in with the body. We're gonna keep the back knee lifted, but if it's too much for you, go ahead and drop it, your choice. From here, we're going to draw this left hip back, round through the shoulders here, can come up onto the fingertips, and then inhaling, bringing the torso up, lifting up the legs, coming here to a high lunge. Nice and strong, hugging those thighs together, pushing into the front foot here. And we're gonna inhale, arms up overhead, Nice, big body stretch, opening the heart, opening the arms, drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears. And then we're gonna inhale and straighten the front leg, bring the arms up overhead, and then exhaling, sinking down, opening up the arms. Again, inhaling, arms up overhead, and exhaling sinking down. One more time, inhaling the arms up overhead and exhaling, sinking back. We're gonna bring the arms out long and twist open towards the left side body. It's getting nice and windy. Inhaling back up towards center, exhaling slowly, lowering down, planting the hands. Stepping back to plank. We won't go through a vinyasa unless you want to. We'll just go straight back to downward facing dog. Planting the left foot now, we'll inhale the right leg up high. Exhaling, drawing the knee towards the nose. Nice and strong, not collapsing the arms. Inhaling, lifting the leg up high. Exhaling, drawing the knee towards the right elbow this time. Inhaling, leg up high, and exhaling, drawing the knee towards the left elbow. Inhaling, leg up high. One more time, knee to nose. You got this. Exhaling, releasing. And inhaling up high. Exhaling, knee towards the right elbow. Inhaling up. Exhaling towards the left elbow. Nice and strong, you got this. Inhaling up high. And then exhaling, bringing it through. Hugging in towards the chest and planting it between the hands here. Again, back knee can be bent, but we'll keep it lifted if it's in your practice. Coming to the fingertops, creating that flat back rounding the shoulders down, root to rise here as we come up, torso nice and strong here. 
We'll inhale the arms up high, opening the, to the torso. And again, we'll do some movement with the breath. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, sinking deeper into the stretch. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, sinking deeper, making sure you bend that knee. And inhaling, straightening the leg. And exhaling, sinking. We'll bring the arms out towards the right side and open up towards the right side. Nice and strong, nice and tall. And then inhaling, arms up. And exhaling it slow, gracefully melting it down. We'll step back to plank pose. Engage the core, bringing the heel to the back of the mat, pushing away from the earth. And then downward facing dog. Taking a moment, a breath to catch yourself. And planting the right foot, we'll inhale the left leg up high and step it through. Nice and strong here, we're going to walk the left hand around the left foot and we're going to open up the left foot so that our toes maybe come off the mat a little bit. We're coming into lizard pose. So this is a really intense hip opener stretch. If this is too much, go ahead and drop that back knee. If you feel good here and your hips are feeling open, we can go ahead and come on to the forearms. If your body like immediately clenches up, you're like, whoa, no, no, no. Go ahead, listen to yourself, listen to your body, and come back to your hands. If as you go lower down, you're like, this feels good, go ahead, stay there again, maybe opening that foot up a little bit, not trying to completely bring it open. We still want to engage the thigh here. And notice what it feels like on the right thigh. Checking in with this side body, it may feel different than the last side. Maybe you start to go down and you're like, whoop, not on this side. That's totally fine, listen to your body. Again, we can drop that back knee if we want to. So go ahead, find your version, your 70% effort onto this pose. We never want to go 100% in any yoga pose uh, with time. And with continuous practice, we will be able to get deeper and deeper into each stretch, into each asana. Take one more deep, relaxing breath here, and then use your hands to frame your foot 
And once again, set to plank pose. Nice and strong here. We'll do a quick core engager as the dogs are having a fight next door. We're going to draw the right elbow down and then the left elbow coming on to the forearms, doing a forearm plank and then pushing ourselves back up to push up and then dropping the left forearm and then the right forearm, making sure we're breathing here and then pushing ourselves up to a plank. And then downward facing dog. Go ahead and drop the knees now. We'll bring the toes to touch, knees as high as the yoga mat, sinking the hips back down, arms out in front of us, and we'll drop the head down. Really trying to draw the chest towards the earth, sinking, releasing, letting everything go. up. We'll bring our knees together and if this seat isn't available to you, come to find a seat that works for you. Curling the shoulders down, we'll bring the hands together at heart center. Bowing down the head in gratitude giving thanks to ourselves for showing up, for being here, for being accepting, for being understanding, for leaving judgments, fears, and worries behind, and for accepting and loving yourself right now in this moment. Remember, we are strong. Thank you so much. May the light in me honor and shine and the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.